So let's do this, guys. The draft is six days away. Here's what I want to do. I want to go through the first 10 picks and maybe sprinkle a few outside of the top 10. I want to talk about maybe worst case scenarios of what you think these teams will do for sure. Wait a minute, what do you mean worst case scenario? I'll start with this. Okay, David put his hands up. Let's start right. with number one, the Chicago Bears. Is there any way they pass on Caleb Williams? No. Okay. No. Not that that's right, wrong, or otherwise, right. but no. They've traded the, yeah. the other quarterback. They landed this pick. Here's the thing. From the very beginning, if if you're Ryan Poles, and you get, you know, it would take this godfather offer. I I just feel like the Bears played this very poorly. Because the only way I think that you could see the Bears trading and the fans of Chicago not revolting is if they swap picks with the commanders. Or and they Patriots get the, or something. No, up they get high. the number two pick and they can say, Well, we really like Jaden better. So we got extra picks and we got the quarterback we really wanted. You don't pick in the top three. Good luck trying to keep your job. I'm glad you mentioned that, Jaden Daniels. Let's move to number two. Okay. Washington Commanders. Here's what's interesting. Looking at the betting markets, ESPN bet. The market has moved in a day the, for the favor for number two. Yesterday, Jaden Daniels was at minus 350. And Drake May was at plus 240. Today, Jaden Daniels is at minus 130. Drake May is at minus 105. Almost even yeah. odds. David, I, here's what I'll say. It just always feels like draft season, it's the, it's the same playbook. You spend a, a draft season hyping one person and slandering another. And then as we approach the draft, the scales of justice mm -hmm. begin to turn and now all of a sudden, Drake May's not awful. And now all of a sudden, maybe J.J. McCarthy's not Christ. So you just start to see it turning. Like, Drake yeah. May was supposed to be the number two pick. And then there was this whole last six weeks we've dealt with. I, David, I don't know. I still I understand fully Jaden Daniels. Like, you're in that Washington, D.C., Baltimore, DMV area thing He's comp is Lamar Jackson, Rico, and, and that, that sells tickets. Right, and Lamar's in your backyard. So if you're Washington, you want to steal away some of those Baltimore fans, I would say this is the Jim Costa value. If you want to bet on Jake right now, bet the farm, because I think that number is going to become ridiculous where you won't make any money on him in a few days. As Mike said, you see that where all of a sudden the line just shifts and moves, and then tomorrow it'll be, you know, Jaden Daniels minus 600. See, and that's where the mistake part comes in on this. And I'm, it's focused straight on Washington here. How Washington does it, they've done this for years. They bring in their top 30 visit. They brought in like 20 players this week on their last Yeah, didn't they have thing. them all there at once eating dinner and, with each and other? they said they want to do that because they want to see certain interaction with each other. Maybe there's a competitive gene here. Could they be making a mistake and pushing Drake May ahead of Jaden Daniels? There's a reason why Washington always drafts like this. Yeah. There's a reason why Washington stinks. There's a reason why Washington is a bunch of losers. It is. They've never been great. And you do that. You literally had reportedly all your quarterbacks – together going out to dinner. What are we doing here? Because now what do you want them to get into a fist fight battle royal? What is this, Hunger Games? Uh, I do a radio show, so yes. <laughs> would have been amazing. Like, right. everybody puts their credit. No, I'll pay for dinner. No, I'll pay for dinner. Like Caleb Williams hitting Drake May with a seafood tower or something. Yeah, I, I do radio. It'd be amazing. Let's move over to the number three pick. Because their GM has spoken this week, and he said that they are open for business. Are they really open for business, or is he just trying to be open for business? It's the worst thing to say as a radio mm -hmm. host, but I have no handle on what New England even is. I don't know what the plan is. I don't. I don't know what they're even trying to do. The win total is four <laughs> and a half. You know Free what they agency seem like? was a complete waste. They seem like the Raiders of the Northeast, where you just kind of okay if they take this person, you're like. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the easiest but, thing to do is take a quarterback, right? It would seem quite obvious. You just take a quarterback. But 
their roster is so there's such a talent deficit. The Patriots have no talent. They're awful. You now have a complete regime change. You have a rookie head coach. They have to replace the whole football department mm-hmm. because Bill Belichick was the entire department. See, I'm not think, saying that to be a smart ass. No, no, no. It's but the see, truth. Mike, I think if you're New England, you realize the void that you're in, and we can bottom out and fans won't revolt because we could always say Bill left us in this situation. If you can somehow collect a bunch of picks like the Vikings give you the two picks there and they throw in their first round pick next year you could sell your fan base because there are zero expectations if you don't like if you don't like Drake May or Jaden Daniel if you don't like either one or you're not comfortable getting left with one of them then yes but I mean man is that a tough press conference to explain to your fans your customers (laughs) yeah we don't have quarterback we got Bailey Zappi's head in a jar that's our plan like, I, I, you're right, but man, do I mean, you want to get up to that no, podium? But, no, but Gerard Mayo. No, because but every now and then there's a situation where no matter what you do, you cannot be the bad guy because the previous person was so bad. Yeah, you already saw the slander too. You can't trust Belichick. You like those reports coming out this week? Yes, of what Kraft talked to uh, Atlanta about. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just one of those things where if if it will be bad. It's kind of like if Detroit trades down on the first night, the fans would be disappointed, but you can sell them, trust me, this is going to work out in our favor. Same could happen with New England. Uh, so here's what I want to do here. Arizona, Tennessee, Chicago at nine. I think we pretty much know what they're all doing. Do right? we? Arizona, mm-hmm. Marvin Harrison Jr. I don't know Paco that. for Tennessee, and a wide receiver see, for Dave, Chicago. No, Davis, see, I would say okay. actually Arizona – Arizona may start the fireworks of the draft. So should the, would the Giants trade up to four? No, no, no. no leave no, no. me out of this. No, but at that point, I think if you now are starting to get desperate for a quarterback and you're like, man, all right, let's just what – what it's going to cost to get J.J., Arizona's answering the phone call because they already – I think I, I said it a couple weeks ago, they, they, I think they got six picks in the top 90. And if they could trade back and get more, they need all the help they can get. So – if the Giants want to move up, stop. If, if the Vikings, me. if the Vikings want to move up, if the Broncos somehow want to sell their soul for the next five years, they're going to take every phone call. So I, I think that the draft actually starts with Arizona. I don't think they make that pick at four. And then we'll close it out with this: top thirty visits for Brock Bowers. He visited number five. He visited number nine. He visited number seven. He visited number 10. Guarantee right now he's not falling out of the top 10. I just feel like if he falls to the Jets, how do you not take him? NFL ready, weapon, it really takes the pressure off of that wideout crew, and it's all in on Aaron Rodgers this year. How do you not take him if you're the Jets? Because I think if you're the Jets, you're probably looking at one of the receivers that you thought was going to go a little higher sitting right there so there's neighbor and you're like wow we thought he was going to be taken Mm, let's take the receiver i understand what you're saying but (laughs) just no right i I mean it's the jets they're gonna say hey we can sell this and we get this top receiver that we thought he was gonna go top four top five he's sitting there at 10 none of those top three will be there you want to put that on the board I'll do another lunch bet with you. Okay. Neighbors, Adunze, and and uh, Maserati, Marv. None of them will be there at 10. You want to take the bet? Yeah, I'll take the oh, bet. I'll put it on the board oh. at, next to your new picture Evan made for you. Okay. We'll next, take that. Next, next to the Lions in the black uniforms. We'll I'll take win. that. Um, The Quickly. Kadarius Tony. No, okay. No. <laughs> and nope. that is football today. Not on a Friday. <laughs> Not doing that.